Sir, step down, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. For what? We've got a warrant for an assault in the system for you. What? You've got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. All right, have and have not fans, that was our have a tea sneak peek of tonight's episode of the haves and have nots. Uh, looks like Derek is going down. So if you have not done so already, but you've been to the channel several times before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Everybody, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit the bell icon and select all that way you are well kept up to date whenever I post new content and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And yes, remember, click the bell and select all. Not personalized, not none, but click all. Um, because I'm a little hurt. Uh, I, I worked my butt off yesterday catching up on all the shows from last week. And I did all the reviews. So Sisters, Assisted Living, House of Pain. I watched all three of those shows from last week. I did all my episode reviews. Plus, I even did the trailer breakdowns for all those shows. Then I also watched all three episodes of Ruthless, and I did all three reviews. Nine videos yesterday, but not a lot of views on them. So please, if you have not done so because you haven't cut on your notification bell, or maybe you just haven't gone to the channel, check it out. All the uh, videos are there. So this is an interesting twist here, because remember last season we had the scene where Derek was being arrested, but it turned out that was a red herring because the fact that, oh, call Jim Cryer. He told me to come over here and fix the door since, you know, his son broke in or there was a break in. So he got off in that situation. However, based on what's happening now, it seems that, you know, this is occurring at the beginning of tonight's episode where, you know, um, Hannah gets Derek to back off most likely after she pulls the knife on him he's heading out and then as soon as he leaves the house boom he gets arrested for the warrant about an assault now the question is the cops showed up to the house you know because obviously they knew he was there do you think somebody called the police on Derek to file that report do you think Benny did it do you think Veronica did it because you know Veronica said she would try to get even or get back at Derek at some point but we just don't know when I feel like it was probably Benny now you could also make the argument well Jeremy what if Hannah you know signaled for the police or did something I don't think that she does I feel like Hannah pretty much you know does this for I mean she fends off Derek herself and then Derek is leaving the house then the cops show up but like the police said there's a warrant in the system for his arrest so it seems for an assault, so it definitely appears that somebody triggered this. I'm guessing it was either Veronica or Benny. Just my opinion. I don't know how things are going to play out because if memory serves, Benny wasn't in last week's episode. I could be wrong, but I don't think he was in the episode. I know this sounds weird, but last week feels like so long ago because of the gap in between the haves and the have-nots coming back, then going home for a few days for Thanksgiving, then coming back and then getting caught up on videos in my room. If you were on that live stream I did a couple nights ago, my room looks a lot better now than it did uh, on, uh, what was it, Sunday? And I'm almost done, so I'm getting this video done quickly. I don't know if we're going to get, you know, as many clips each Tuesday as we used to. I feel like we can at least count on the have a tease and then just go from there. Plus, the show comes on in a couple hours anyway, but... Yeah, I think that either maybe, maybe it was Veronica or Derek, I mean, excuse me, Veronica or Benny, who called for the warrant for the assault, but I think it would be more Benny than anyone else because of the fact that, you know, he's still pissed off, but we'll have to wait and see. So if it was Benny, what do you think about that? I think that, well, he is the son of the woman who was raped, so I get what he's, you know why he's doing what he's doing if he was the one to do it but should it really be his call not to mention what do you think is going to happen because obviously if it's for an assault it's most likely hannah and if that's the case will she have to go to the court and testify and if it came down to her own testimony about what happened do you think that could actually lead to Derek being put back in jail we'll have to wait and see i guess it really depends on 
the conversation between the two at the beginning of the video because i mean the episode because just based on how Derek was you know being handcuffed hannah just looked down and went right back into the house without you know so much as batting an eyelash she's pretty much done with it so we'll just have to wait and see how things go but um i think with Derek behind bars i guess you could wow if he gets arrested do you think he's going to be in a cell next to uh catherine because remember, I don't know why, but for whatever reason in this jail, the men and women are kind of in the same area, which makes no sense. Because remember, Wyatt was directly across from Catherine. So who's to say Derek won't be right across from um, Catherine? So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, Wyatt, Catherine. Yeah, Wyatt was in there. Then, oh, excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> Wyatt and Catherine are right across from each other. So it stands to reason that Derek could possibly be in there. And if that's the case... With Derek behind bars, that means Samuel and Laura will just be doing what they're doing without any kind of guidance. And, well, they'll probably botch things up. We'll just have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Shout out to the patrons over on Patreon. You can join in for as little as $1 a month. Or if you just want to make more of a direct contribution to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.